You're not getting them. Can I have a toffee apple then? No. <laughs> What's to stop me from following the Piper? You'll be able to safely listen to the Piper's music and find out if he's doing something wrong. What will you be doing? I'll be watching your back with my earplugs firmly in place. So, you right? The rope's coming into my wrist. Great. <sighs> That was horrible! What, resisting the spell? No, listening to that terrible music. That guy can't play worth beans. His lips are going to need a lot of tuning. Hmm. Come on, Johnny. Let's catch up with the piper. You're right. The music's awful. More awful than your singing? At least I don't inflict it on people. Or rats. I've got to find out more about this so-called piper. No, there are too many fingerprints in this hotel room. I need something that only the piper would have touched. What about the handle on this bag? Excellent idea, Johnny. If you hadn't just put your big grubby mitts all over it. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> Hang on, there might be something useful inside it. This is interesting. It's the letter sent by the Hamlin Council inviting the piper to come and work. Whoa, certainly cashed up. This piping business sure pays well. Oh, do you think I'd look good in tights? Here's his piping license. How'd he get a license when he plays so badly? Hmm, let me see. Hmm. Uh huh. This photo looks stuck on. Yeah. Hmm. There's your real piper. So this guy's a fake. I'd make a great piper. But why hasn't he taken the piper's money and run away? Johnny, do you have to do that? Oh, 